What's up guys, I have a brand new free guide on how to lose 10 pounds in three days through fasting. If you wanna get your hands on that, click the link in the description. It'll take you to a page where you type in your email address. And then I will send you the guide for free, how to lose 10 pounds in three days. If that's what you wanna do, you know what to do. If not, enjoy the video. Can you fast while on a steroid cycle? Now, I'm not an expert on steroids by any stretch of the imagination, but I do have enough experience with PEDs and a lot of experience with fasting and you know, OMAD and all that. So I think I can chime in on this subject. And here's the question. Can you fast while doing a steroid cycle? Slash TRT. Although TRT is not really a steroid cycle. It's just like... It's like saying, can you fast with really high testosterone levels? Yeah, of course you can. And the answer to this question, I think, would depend on who we're asking, right, for the steroid cycle. Because if you look at traditional steroid forums, most people would probably say no. You shouldn't, or you can't fast, or you shouldn't fast, I guess is a better way to put it. They would probably say that to fast during a cycle would be a complete waste of gear. However, you know, it's safe to assume that these people are coming from a bodybuilding background, right? They have that mindset of get as big as you can, because that's usually why people use steroids. Yeah, you have some athletes who use them to improve athletic performance, which is how I would prefer to use them. If I was going to do a cycle, but that's not how most people who do a cycle think about it, right? And look, I know there are bulking cycles and cutting cycles, but most people, most cycles that people run are for bulking. It's usually only the more advanced guys that'll do a cutting cycle. And it's not common that you'll find somebody who will do a cutting cycle for their first cycle. Usually the first cycle is gonna be 500 milligrams of tests and they're gonna try and get as big as possible. So does fasting make sense during a bulking cycle? I guess is the best question. Now, to be fair, I've never done a bulking cycle, so I can't, I can't really tell you. I've never taken, I've never done a cycle and said, I'm going to get as big as possible. That's never been my, my motivation um, for, you know, the, the times where I've, or I guess the one time that I did an extended cycle, if we could call it that. <clears throat> but I would think that it does make sense. I would think that there is a place for fasting during a bulking cycle. Now I have to say first, I'm not a huge fan of, of you know, this like prolonged bulking or cutting these like sessions, I guess let's call them, of several weeks to several months. I don't think you should bulk for three months. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think you should only bulk for three months. If anything, I would do miniature bulk or a miniature cut. For example, two to three days of bulking or a week of bulking followed by two to three days of cutting. I think that that would be a good way to maintain an, appeal, an appealing comp body composition while still putting on a decent amount of muscle, while also having enough gas in the tank to train hard several times per week. I'll explain a little bit more about that in a second. So a newbie steroid cycle is commonly recommended at 500 milligrams testosterone per week run for about 12 weeks. Now, assuming the person doing the cycle is eating enough and training hard, they will gain, and this is a rough estimate, obviously it varies, 20 to 30 pounds-ish during this time. Not all of that is lean tissue, a lot of that is water, but a, a good amount of that is lean tissue. Now let's assume for a moment that during this 12 week period, they added one 48 hour fast per week, just to clean out all the, the gunk, you know, let's call it, that they'd been building up from their caloric surplus. <clears throat> because if you think about it, the, the person is training hard. They're eating a lot. They're at a caloric surplus every single day. They're probably eating multiple times per day. So much that it's likely that they're never quite empty before eating more food. They're just piling more and more and more on top of the undigested food, which is taxing their system more and more because they're trying to max out their muscle gains during that time. 
But the problem is that inflammation is gonna go up, gas and bloating are gonna go up, fatigue is gonna go up. And all of these things, one could argue, these roadblocks, even with the additional, um, you know, help, let's call it, of the steroids, it's going to impede their overall growth. So in other words, if we take two identical people who are doing the standard 500 milligrams a week test blast for 12 weeks, and we make one of them do a 48 hour fast consistently every single week, every Monday, Monday and Tuesday, they fast for 48 hours. What would the difference be between the two? Which one would have more lean body mass? Which one would have fewer side effects? Which one would have gained more fat? Which one's strength would have gone up more? Which one would be able to train harder? You know, I don't have the answers for these questions. I want to make that clear right now. This is not, I know a lot of videos, it's like, here's the answer to the question that you're probably thinking. I don't have the answer to that. This is me speculating. I've never done a full cycle like this. I've never done 500 milligrams of tests per week. It seems a little high for me. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm breaking out just thinking about it, getting all oily. But I think that these questions are worth asking. What's up guys, thanks for watching the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Any and all comments are appreciated as they do help the algorithm. Also, if you wanna get your hands on my brand new fasting guide, how to lose 10 pounds in three days, click the link in the description. It'll take you to a page where you type in your email address and you will get the guide in your email immediately. That's it, see you next time, peace.